again, hola, and thank you for finding me here at my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. I produce positive, original and info-packed videos about Benidorm, what I have led for many, many years. So if you enjoy this vlog, please consider becoming a subscriber. Also, please feel free to interact with the channel by adding a like, a comment or just an emoji, as this helps my YouTube videos to be seen by more viewers and also to spread the word about Benidorm and beyond and get more positive vlogs about our fantastic resort out there in the world. Today I'm taking you for a walk along a section of Cay Girona in the new town, better known as The Strip, now that the fiestas are well and truly over and behind us and thoughts have turned to the festive season after many bars have given themselves a revamp as well as their staff a well-earned rest. We started at the junction with Avenida de Almeria where we saw the rear of the four-star Hotel Don Pancho and then the Insomnia nightclub and the Crown Pub still decorated up with plenty of balloons, streamers and bunting from the November festival. Continuing on, we walk by the ever-colourful outside sun-trapped terrace of the Hotel California where you can now at least easily get a seat. And who still have plenty of drink deals and offers displayed outside for those who choose to holiday in this more tranquil time of year. Across the road, we see the ever-present Chinese shops and mini-marts plying their selection of neon wares to suit all budgets and tastes, with the round-town travel offers still open to offer info on airport transfers and local day trips with the Cinnamon Lounge Indian restaurant adjacent, which currently opens from 5.30pm. We then pass the Western Saloon, whose alfresco terrace is always popular, and here you can watch live music acts daily until gone midnight with a great atmosphere inside and out. On our right hand side we then see the Why Not Karaoke Bar owned by Tad from Castleford who also runs the Yorkshire Pride chain of pubs in the resort and then on our left the main entrance to the four star Ambassador Playa 2 which is currently ranked 9th out of the, out of the 356 hotels listed in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK. On our right again, we pass the Nairobi Benidorm Souvenir Shop, followed by the One Kebab and Pizza Takeaway, which opens in the evening times, as well as yet another small convenience-type store with its usual overpriced displays of food, drinks and tat, and the premises of JJ's, which is now undergoing a full refurbishment, with some saying, about time too. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Next door is the Times Square Corner Sports Bar where you can eat, drink and watch the live matches and this abuts a passageway which leads down to the infamous Black Chicken Karaoke Bar. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels, then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, fly on the wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for, and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. Continuing on, we then pass the main entrance to the four-star Hotel Ambassador Playa 1, which is currently ranked 21st out of the 356 hotels listed in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK, although how the two Ambassador hotels situated in the same complex and with the same facilities get rated so differently, I really don't know. Over the road, we then see the Hotel Riador, which is now a four-star after its full renovations a couple of years ago, and this comes in at 37th in Benidorm on TripAdvisor, so still a highly recommended place to stay, especially if you want to be literally on top of all the nightlife that this street has to offer. Moving onwards, we see the alleyway of Pasaje Riador, which leads down to cabaret bars, the talk of the coast and Valentines. While still on this street, we see the tiki-themed Waikiki Bar, and then the last stop sports bar, where you can enjoy a bite to eat or drink, watch the sports or sing karaoke, whatever takes your fancy. Nearing the end of this section of the road, we then pass the Morgan's Tavern Cabaret venue, better known to some as Neptune's Bar from the hit ITV comedy series, Benidorm. They are still open on a nightly basis, with live music acts starting at 7.15pm until the early hours, including lots of the town's top performers, and their pirate ship complete with full rigging, always catching people's eye for a photo opportunity. We then round the corner and cross the road where we see the four-star hotel flash in front of us, then walking by a colourful children's play area 
and finishing outside the state office who offer assistance to foreign tourists in need of help and the local branch of the tourist information office. It's here that we finish today's vlog and I hope that you've enjoyed today's sunny winter info walk along a section of Calle Girona or the Strip with me. And if you have, please join me again in the future, as well as checking out some of my other videos, which are full of useful information, news and updates, as well as reviews and tours on local hotels, cafes, bars and new businesses. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time. Bye for now, hasta luego, and catch you again soon. Cheers!